okay hi greeting i know how you greet people okay in nigerian you say bauni welcome thank exactly. you so much yeah. in case you don't know mm -hmm. me my name is mohammed sibik i am the founder of global social entrepreneurship foundation and we are on a mission to empower 1 million global social entrepreneurs if you are watching mm -hmm. and you are a wiki's friend welcome thank you so much it's such an honor and blessing for me to meet you it's virtually for now i'm sure someday you're going to invite me in nigeria and i'm going to meet you in person too until then we will start learning from each other i know wiki promised you that oh, we will give you some training very quickly access back and she didn't give it to you let me tell you it's not her fault it's a 100 percent my fault 100 percent not her fault you want to know why because you are not ready yet. The part of the teaching is you need to be patient. I'm telling you right now, it is my fault. I take a 100% responsibility. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to ask for your kind forgiveness on that. I did not deliver what I promised her. It's me, not her, first of all, okay? I know she shared some angry messages coming. I know your frustration. Why? Because 30 years ago, I was on the same frustration myself. I am from a remote village in Pakistan, okay? No power, no roads, I get it. I was, I'm one of you, I'm not from anywhere else. And from no roads, my parents never went to school. I'm the only one who has a master's degree in computer science from my village. Even 30 years later, no one has ever done the master's degree in computer in my village. So I get it. You really wanted somebody to hold your hand and pull you up. And let me tell you, you are not alone. We are here to help you when Keep watching, I'm going to tell you in a moment. However, I'm going to introduce you to myself a little bit more so you know exactly who this person is. He's not this kind of sweet talk so that you know everybody talk, make you feel good about it, and then they forget about you. That's not me. However, I already asked for your kind forgiveness, and I'm sure you're going to accept it because you are a nice person. Because nice anyone who wants to learn more, they always forgive others. And I'm asking for your kind forgiveness. If you allow me a permission, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to tell you everything about me very quick. It's not about bragging about me at all. I just want to share. I have been there, done that, all that what you're thinking and going through right now. However, you're, everything you need to start believing into yourself, you came to the right place. Okay, timing is irrelevant almost. And I'm going to share my screen, show you. This is me, uh, which is not in a red shirt finally. Okay, I'm always in a red shirt live. Mohammed Siddiq, and I go by Siddiq. My friends call me a Siddiq. They don't call him Mohammed. They, they call my Siddiq. And now you are my new friend right now watching from Nigeria or any Nigerian person all over the world, expert Nigerian. You can call me Siddiq because you are my new friend. What I do is I'm a social media authority, mass publicity influencer, and entrepreneurial philanthropist. I'm going to forget what these are all buzzwords, and I have not written a single word myself. Okay, someone else has done the job for me. I work, I have a master's in computer science and I work for Oracle, there's a big company in America and I'm sure the Oracle is being used all over the world, it's one of the top companies. I worked for them for five years, so I learned a lot, what to do, what not to do, and when, when to actually switch on to the next thing. And I'm the publisher of four, three magazines. One is a billionaire mentor magazine and where we interview billionaires and millionaires, how they think, that's how I learned it from. And I'm not, it's not my knowledge. I learned it from the, the big people in America, how they do things. And that's why we are going to give it to that too, so that way you can empower yourself right then and there, the way you are, wherever you are, okay? You're extreme, oh, I'm not in America, I can't do it. I'm not in Australia, I cannot do it. I didn't get a chance to go to Europe, I can't do it. That starts today because if we all are bringing everything from all over the world the best practices, the best experience to your way. Then beside I make money online, make so much money because now we are actually teaching how to make money. I have been working from home for 21 years. Not only I have a work from home magazine for that, and I also have a passion to invest into real estate, buildings, land, and apartment rentals and all that stuff. I do it all over the world. And for that one, I have a real estate income magazine. Because of the magazine, I'm able to attract more successful people. They want to be featured on the top of the cover of the magazine or inside the magazine. That's how I can learn from them, become this lifelong student. And my clients call me a king of relationship capital because once I make a friend and never leave them, I know how to build a relationship. It's not about me. I'm going to teach you how you can build a relationship all over the world and keep it. 
That's how you are going to make money together. Friend, now you know what kind of things have been keeping me busy. And so keep watching. This is not over yet. This is a guy, a multi-billionaire guy who has a business tech on, on how to build a relationship. My little role is whenever I want to learn something, I go to the number one guy. Okay, that's my role. If I can't go to the number one guy in the world, I will go to the number two. But however, in my mind, desire is go to the top. Why? Because I'm a very lazy, I'm probably one of the stupid person on the planet. Because if you learn from the number one, if I retain as only 1%, I still will be top 100. Why? Because if you learn from an average guy, guess what will happen? You will not make enough money. And I'm telling you, this is the CEO. I'm a CEO of multiple companies. And Jack Welch is the number one world CEO. This is a guy, you probably watch movies. You know he was a governor of California. He was in James Bond movie. And you know, I learned from him. He's over a $500 million guy, serial entrepreneur, how they build from one company to another company to another company. They teach and I pay a lot of money to get into their events. And that's how I learned it from. Okay, so that's enough. And here are some top influential people around the world are actually have the testimonial about my work so you can see what they say, you know, so you can watch it later. It's on meetsneak.com. I'm a serial entrepreneur, a founder of 10 companies, lost so much money. Just you know that I'm not successful every time. I'm telling you honestly, and I made a very good money in many, many companies too. That's why we are, have a right to teach too. And that gives us the opportunity. As I told you, I invest, I'm originally from Pakistan. So here's the one big housing project, you know, in Pakistan, I invested there. And many other my friends have invested there too. I'm not asking for any, you need to invest. I'm just telling everything publicly what I do. I don't hold to myself because I'm a teacher. I want to teach, do, and share my experiences. And if someone want to do it, they can do it. If they're not, it's okay too. So, and then I have a called BNB formula. That's a short-term rentals. We take apartment. You can do it in Nigeria too, by the way. It's that simple. It's online making money. I'm just telling you, you buy an apartment for, let's say, $1,000. Or a one dollar doesn't matter. It's like you're not buying an apartment; you're renting it, and then on Airbnb you re-rent it to daily rental, like a hotel. Okay, you get it for a thousand, and then you daily rent for a hundred. So in a month, it's a three thousand. So you give a thousand dollar rent to the landlord. You keep a two thousand in your pocket. Let me tell you, you don't even have to be in that apartment at all. There's this guest services who do work twenty four seven. They take care of all the guests, check in, check outs. The cleaning service is the maid service. They'll come and clean the apartment. You don't have to even clean the apartment. Something needs to be fixed. You call a handyman, a plumber, whatever. There's a third company. You outsource the plumbing part to a plumbing company, cleaning part to a cleaning company, and guest services to a guest service company. What else you have to do? Just collect money, okay? It's Airbnb will collect money from the guests, and then you sign up with the landlord. Five companies deal with 100% outsourcing, and you keep all the profits. 2% of your work will make you money. Now, one apartment is giving you $1,000 a month. How about having a $10,000? $10, because you're not cleaning it. You're not making it. You don't have to buy a loan, down payment, mortgage, like a bank, getting a loan from a bank and asking for a references, blah, blah, blah. Anybody in 191 countries can do it. Anybody anywhere in the world can do it. So I'm just giving you some clues what we can teach you. This is... I'm. By the way, this I just started a few like a few weeks ago, and I'm a student myself. Let me tell you, because as a student, you will learn a lot. If you are a master of something, you will not learn anything. So in your mind, you have to be a student for life. Don't even take my word. Look at this, what I've written here. Look at this, the leg formula. The L-E-G formula. L stands for learning. So you're always learning for life, okay? Once you learn enough and master your skills, then the E comes into picture. E means earning. So that means the skills you have, you learned it all. Now you want to start using the skills and start earning it. Once you're successful in earning, then you start giving back. That's what Vicky is doing for you. And that's what I'm trying to do it. I was in fact doing it for Pakistan only to start with. Then Vicky came along through a mutual mentor and say, help my Nigerian people. Why are you are being selfish is only going to Pakistani. I said, sure, because I love humanity. I want to serve the humanity and all Nigerian, Pakistani, Americans, European, all over, we all are human. We need to work together so that when our misunderstandings are removed, we have a better communication. That's why the Wiki is doing it. 
she is really representing you she will be helping you and we will be working with her and directly with you our goal is only one thing to make you successful and start believing to you can do it you are not alone here is that project entrepreneurial philanthropist where we do it help others to do the same by grace of god i am so blessed we have been success, so much successful in fact i don't even deserve that much i don't know why god keep giving me that success however why because we believe in g remember giving back and we are going to give it to you our work has been covered in the media all over this is a global social entrepreneurship foundation that is the foundation this is all about giving back giving back giving back give you back so much and here is the media uh, look at the media like i am in national media speaking at universities all over and you can go on the website and check it everything i'm showing you everything so that way you don't have to worry about that we are really hiding anything from you there's nothing and we do interviews with guests so many of them and that's good enough you can click on any interviews look at my media or whatever it's about enough about me this is the time to be about you okay so what is going to happen is this is a december month that's why you are watching december month is very packed in holidays and there's so much schedule already december month is very very hard so in january we will start with you 2018 so get ready for 2018 that's the year for you and first tell me now when you are watching the interview this wherever you are watching this conversation tell what you want to do in your life tell us i want to know more about you just tell me what you want to do in your life what making money is not the goal it doesn't matter what you do in your life money will come however what you want to do you want to support yourself help a sister buy a home or help another shelter once you are successful yes. help somebody else mm -hmm. just tell us i want to know that part because what is your mission our mission is to serve you here the okay. only one condition we want to serve you let me tell you that's a very selfish is a brutal i'm going to be very hard on you before even we meet in person what that is <laughs> that is very simple <clears throat> we are going to give you everything what you need to be successful with one condition you want to know what that is that is once you become a successful you need to help someone else otherwise i'm not going to help you why i should help you give you all this knowledge acquired over 30 30 years we have so many people trying to help you and then once you become a successful you become a selfish remember you need to adapt this lag formula okay if you don't and don't believe in lag formula then we are not going to help you that's the one condition because that's the title of my upcoming book once the book becomes available we are going to give it to you so you can read it so please again at the end i i ask for your kind forgiveness i really mean it from the bottom of my heart and i want to welcome you as a nigerian friends i have a number of nigerian friends here in america so i don't think i don't know it okay so good thing is you guys all speak english that's a wonderful thing i don't know your language but i already treat, uh, greeted you with it bauni okay that's well, like a welcome and vicky anything you want to add uh, how much you are excited you can tell how much i am excited to help your people how much you are excited with your people vicky yes i'm here yeah so how much you are excited pumped up to help your people oh i i can't really explain how excited i am um to be able to do what you do in pakistan in nigeria it's something that i'm really looking forward to and so many and i'm talking about hundreds of people who have been contacting me almost every day trying to ask when is it going to be when are we going to start when yeah. and when and when i'm like can you just wait you know we're still working on things so everyone is eager i'm eager to help as many people as you know those are ready to be helped so look forward to, to thank you so much look forward to 2018 and until then stay blessed oh dabo and looking forward to nigeria <laughs> let me end with this nigeria is a great country great people and looking forward to meeting mm -hmm. you visiting your country someday in person until then yeah. take care of yourself and see you in 2018 january thank you